YouTube. This is Rob. Um, video game hoarder, of course. Uh, coming out with a, a trade package video. Um, this one I'm actually gonna actually 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 um, <laughs> unbox it on video. Um, this is a this is a pretty big package. Um, put this together this trade uh, this weekend, I think. Um, with this awesome per person. Um, I hope I'm getting their name right. If not, you know, message me and, uh, you know, I'll, uh, I'll try to reshoot or do something or who knows. But, um, Laura Fenza, I guess it is, um, in one of the retro groups that we're all in and, uh, posted, um, a couple games that, uh, I was really into and, uh, one of them is one of my favorites, actually is my favorite of all time, so uh, I'm kind of giving away a little bit here, um, but if you know me anyway, um, and uh, another one is uh, another one really high on my list of wanting to get, so um, I had to give up a, a lot uh, to get them, but um, I think it's worth it, and uh, the other ones I think I could find a little bit easier than these, so... Um, let me try to unbox this real quick. Uh, probably should have bought something better here than a little pair of scissors that I got, but that's what I decided to bring. Uh, all right, let's see what we got here. All right. Um, this was kind of a, a I mean, there's three main games here that I really wanted, and then there was a couple, you know, fillers and whatever to kind of even out the trade. Um, what I ended up trading was a bunch of Super Nintendo games, a lot of good stuff. Uh, um, retro gamer kids probably going to hate me, but uh, <laughs> I ended up uh, trading um, Mario RPG, which I did not want to trade. That's one of those games I really didn't want to move, and I, I paid up to get that. But I just had to in this trade. And uh, a lot of other cool Super Nintendo games. Um, Lufia 2, unfortunately. I mean, I got a good deal on it, so... But still, that was one I wanted to hold on to also. Um, as you guys know, I'm a big Super Nintendo guy. It's one of my favorite things to collect, so... Um, I'm definitely going to have to find those games again. Uh, Super Metroid. Um, God, what else was in there? Was it Castlevania 4 in there? Um, and, and, you know, there was some, some commons in there too. There was a Mortal Kombat, um, some other stuff. Uh, Pinocchio, if I remember right. Um, a whole bunch of stuff. Uh, really worked out for both of us because, uh, we're looking for, um, Super Nintendo stuff and obviously I had a bunch. So, uh, let me open this up for you. Uh, first game, uh, Mega Man Anniversary Collection. Uh, for the GameCube, that was kind of put in at the end of the deal um, to kind of even out things a little bit. Uh, disc, manual. Uh, disc looks to be in pretty good shape from what I can tell. Uh, uh, there was a couple loose or whatever games for the PS, uh, PlayStation, or missing manuals or whatever. Uh, Mortal Kombat 4, obviously. Um, of course, I can't get everything out. I'm doing this one-handed, unfortunately. Uh, Monster Rancher 2. Uh, Jet Moto. I think I have that already, so that's kind of whatever. Cool Borders 3. I either have this one or 4, I'm not sure. Um, <laughs> Madden 97. Uh, these actually kind of help a little bit too. Um, I have some of these, some of these I don't. So, uh, to go with the PlayStation collection, I kind of want to go for that. I keep saying I'm kind of going for, not going for, yada yada. Uh, Tomb Raider, I think I have that already. Uh, Test Drive Off Road 2. All right. Uh, is there anything else in there? Oh, yeah, there is. Oh, I forgot about this one. Um, Digimon Digiworld uh, 4 for the GameCube. Um, that 
that's missing manual. Uh, I don't remember if I knew that or not. I, I probably did. Um, let's see what the disc is like. Uh, looks to be in pretty good shape as well. So that's good. Alright, I think we're down to the rest of the stuff, the main stuff. Um, this is probably my number two game that I was looking for. Um, that I couldn't uh, find, you know, in garage sales and yard sales and thrifts and all that stuff. So, um, I'm really happy to get this. And this, well, Laura had two, two copies. So, just picked them up both in the same week. Um, and, uh... So, obviously was able to uh, trade one of them off, so, um, Chrono Trigger, uh, obviously you can see it's not in perfect shape, but, um, it's all there, uh, I'm not gonna open this stuff one-handed, cause this is just gonna be a pain, but, um, it's all there, uh, except the map, I need a map for it. But, um, I finally got Chrono Trigger. This is one of those that I've been looking for forever. So, again, you know, not perfect shape. I'll eventually upgrade, but this is awesome to have. So, um, uh, let's see where that other one is. Oh, sorry, I forgot about this one too in the trade. Clay Fighter, 63 and a third. Uh, looks like it just needs to be cleaned up or whatever. That's fine. This is another PlayStation 1 game. It's kind of rare. Um, I haven't been able to find it. And um, it's one of those RPGs that I always wanted to uh, pick up again. Um, and for some reason, I never owned this. I, I don't know why. And I owned most of them. But um, Tales of Destiny. So this looks like to be in really good shape. Um... I can't pop it open, but, uh, here we go, uh, da, 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 da. oh, it's only one desk, I'm like, uh, I thought it was two, but I guess not, <laughs> I hate when they make these, uh, cases so big, and, uh, it's only one desk, but, uh, really good shape, um, and the grand finale, um, this is a game I've been wanting forever, and this is my number one game that I've been wanting, um, let me repeat it again, forever, um, and I can't believe this one was up there, they were actually gonna, uh, she was actually gonna trade it last week, I think, and, uh, nobody offered her anything except, uh, I think one person offered her, like, 30 sports games or something, so, uh, uh, I came up uh, once you reposted it, and uh, everything worked out. And let's see if I can get this out. Uh, of course, I can't get it out. Hold on a sec. Let me put the, the camera down for a sec. All right. One, two, three. So code in two. I can't believe I have this in my hands right now. I've been looking for this game for, I don't know, it must be like 10 years now that I've been looking for this game. Um, this is my number one game of all time. I never owned it. I The story behind it is I rented it from a mom and pop um, video game store. And um, I rented it for probably a month or two straight. And I beat it and I recruited more characters and beat it again and whatever else and there's a couple different endings so I, I wanted to beat it a couple different ways and um, I actually offered to buy it from the place and they refused they would not sell it to me and then um, and then uh, I think a couple weeks later after I returned it they went out of business they closed the shop and now there's a GameStop there which I'm sure happened to a lot of people's uh, Mom and pop shops, unfortunately, which sucks. But, um, so I have not seen this game since anywhere. I mean, I've seen it online for, you know, hundreds of dollars and whatever else, and I just, 
I wasn't going to pay that, so, I mean, to get it in trade uh, is awesome. I mean, I don't even... I don't even know what to do with myself right now. This is this is this is the this is the game that I've been wanting. Um, I don't know. I wow. I mean, this looks like it's like in mint. This is unbelievable. I can't even. I can't even believe I have this in my hand right now. So um, that's it uh, for the trade. I mean. The big three, obviously, so code in two, uh, Tales of Destiny, and um, Chrono Trigger. <sighs> I mean, I, I did, like I said, I definitely paid up. I mean, I gave a, a lot of good Super Nintendo games, um, and some filler stuff too. But uh, I got some filler stuff back, obviously. But um, great trade. I hope uh, she's happy with the, her end of the deal too, and. Um, and that's about it. Uh, I'm gonna... I don't even know what I'm gonna do with myself right now, but, uh... I will do it offline. <laughs> Rob out.